Hello viewers, so my name is John, the team captain and driver of Ripper from Robot Wars. Now you may remember us in Series 7, we were most famous really for flipping the house robots over. We managed to get the RefBot over, we managed to get Shunt over, and eventually we got put in the pit by the big daddy himself, that is Sir Killalot. Now if we've managed to do this, you can be watching that in your screen as I'm talking. You can see Ripper flipping the house robots. If we haven't, then there's a big gap there. Anyway, so get asked the questions all the time and we've done a few videos and this is the latest one how do you build a robot and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the cheapest and simplest way of building robots we're going to be using cardboard we're going to use a hot milk glue gun and this is really going to be a beginner's guide to radio control robots and let's get you hopefully in an arena soon so what do we need to build a robot here is one we've made earlier. Now I'm responsible for the Roaming Robots educational projects. So that means we go into schools. We go into primary schools, we go into secondary schools, and we also do a lot of work for the Prince's Trust. And we're showing people how engineering can be fun, it can be creative. We do STEM, science, technology, engineering, and maths. And just by using a few motors, some batteries, and some cardboard, we do the decoration and we can get children and students and adults building robots really cheaply, really easily. And this would take about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to actually get it working. So let's cut it apart and I'll show you what's inside. Okay, so we had six and seven year olds building robots at one of our educational projects and this is what they created, although we've just destroyed it. It was called the killer. We put stripes on it, we decorated it, they built it themselves in about 30 to 40 minutes and we had a sumo competition with it. So this can show you now the components inside the robots. So we've got batteries. So we get our electricity from our batteries. Obviously we can't plug the robots into the mains, it's not gonna work. So we've got our battery packs, we've got wires. So you'll also notice we've got two motors. These are actually servos. You normally find these in radio control cars. They normally do things like the steering. We've modified the insides and so they go on hook full 360 degrees and they're our motors. Again, really cheap, really simple way of doing it. You can buy these from various different sources. Um, and then lastly, we need our radio control. We've got our receiver. So you can see, we've glued it to the base, we've built some bodywork over the top, and very easily and simply, you can build a robot. Okay, so we've decided that we're gonna launch a kit, and it's now available to buy. If you wanna get started in robots, this is the cheapest and simplest way for you to do it. Head to roamingrobots.co.uk, and we are now selling all the components that I've just been describing, so that you can build your very own robots. You can build as many robots as you like, because that's the way we've done it. Here's the kit, comes in a box. What do you get inside? Now you get pretty much everything you would need to build a robot. So you get your radio control, you get your receiver, you get your two motors, you get your battery holder. The only thing you'll need to buy is some AA batteries, but most of us have batteries in our cupboards or just head down to your local shop and get some. Now I would recommend don't scrimp and save on the batteries because these robots are quite powerful and you're always going to be forever changing batteries if you scrimp and save and buy cheap ones. So just go for a good brand and then you won't have any issues. Now then, we're going to open up the kit and we're going to see what's inside. Don't need that. Can we bang it? Oh, there we go. We'll get rid of that. What have we got in here? So we've got lots of bits. We don't need the box anymore. We'll get rid of that. Uh, this is our radio control, okay? So we've got a four channel 2.4 gigahertz transmitter. Really cheap and easy to buy. And if you want to buy extra ones, then you can head to places like eBay. Um, but yeah, this is what we're selling. So you've got four channels. You've got one, two, three, and four there. This is the receiver that goes with the transmitter. You've got two motors, like we described before, two servos that have actually been modified and they're fully ready to go. And then we've got our battery holder where we put our batteries and that's the bit where we're gonna power the robot. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put the batteries in and we're gonna make sure they're gonna work. Now that we have our batteries inside our transmitter, and our battery holder, we can now start putting our robot together. But before we do that, we've got to do one important job. And if you haven't had anything to do with radio control, it might be a little bit daunting, but I'm gonna take you through the simple steps of binding. Now, binding is a process where we have the transmitter, 
that's one element. So when you move the sticks, it sends the signal into the airways, it transmits the signal. And then we have our receiver, which is the bit that's inside the robot that receives the signal. And what we need to do is we need to pair the two together. You've got a little loop of wire on a plug. That's the first thing we need to plug in. This is our bind plug. So on your receiver, you've got a BAT channel. We plug the bind plug into the top one, like that. The next thing we need to do, we've put our batteries in. We then need to plug that in. Now that can be plugged into any of the other channels, but it's important that the black wire always goes to the outside. And that's for binding and also for when we're actually using the robot. Little switch on your little battery pack, we switch that on. And then on the transmitter, we have this little button here. This is our bind button. And we only press this when we're doing the binding process. We press and hold it. We switch on the transmitter. And then you'll notice that the light comes on on the receiver. That means that it's been successfully bound together. And these two components will only ever talk to each other. They're not going to start controlling other robots. Let go of the bind plug. You can then switch off your transmitter, unplug your receiver with all the wires and then it's bound together. To double check, just to make sure that it is together again, we can plug our battery back in, but this time, we're actually gonna plug it in properly. The battery goes into BAT, black wire to the outside, and we switch on our transmitter, the light comes on, and that tells us that it's got a good signal and it's ready to go. Right, we've bound our stuff together, we've got our motors, we're gonna start putting it together. Here we go. Now the beauty of the modern day systems that we have here for our radio control is that they're all 2.4 gigahertz. So there's no aerials required, there's no crystals like we used to back in the day. You can pair different receivers to different transmitters, which means that if you want to build two, three, four, five, even six robots and have them all controlled by this one transmitter, you don't need to buy more transmitters. But it's cheap enough as it is, but if you wanted to, you could just buy different receivers We've gone through the bind process of how you put them together, how you pair them, and that's all you need to do. So it's time to get this robot built. Now, if we remind ourselves, on our robot here, we've got our two motors, we've got our batteries, we've got our wheels, we've got our receiver, we've got it all here, we just need to build it. So the first thing we need to do is decide how big we're gonna make it, and we need to cut out a base, then we're gonna cut out two circles for our wheels, then we're gonna glue it together. So let's get that done. So we've got our base. This is what everything's gonna get glued to. This is the main structure of the robot. Now it's time to cut out some wheels. Okay, so we've got our two wheels. We've cut out two circles, drawn around our sellotape, around the cardboard, and we've got our wheels and we have our base for our robot. They are the initial bits that we're gonna to need to put our robot together. We've got our components. It's now time to start gluing it together. Now for this, we're gonna use my trusted glue gun. This fixes everything. I have fixed teacups with this. I've put pictures back together. Who wouldn't want a glue gun? So you can get these from a shop, Hobbycraft, Staples. They're quite cheap, B&Q. Um, head down, get one, glue it all together. Here we go. So we've got our components down. We've got our motors, this is the left motor, this is the right motor. We've glued the battery box down in place. We've kept that in line with the motors so that we get good traction for our robot. And we've just put a little bit of glue on our receiver. Now, the idea of this project is that we can replace and repair and we can build as many robots as we want. So you don't want to use too much glue. I only used a small dab and it's really strong. That's enough because when we take it apart, we want to build subsequent robots, future ones. We don't want to glue, get glue everywhere and have lots of cardboard stuck to it. So just be a bit sparing with your glue is my advice. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the wheels. Now the wheels, again, they just get glued straight to the end of the motor. So when the motor rotates round, so does the robot, so does the wheel and off it goes. So this is our finished chassis. So we've got our receiver, battery, two motors. We just need to plug the wires in, turn on the transmitter, and we'll see if it works. On the transmitter, we've got different channels, and we've got these reverser channels, but we'll come on to that soon. For the first thing we do, we've already got the battery connected because we left that connected. We're gonna plug the right-hand motor into channel two, 
and we're going to plug the left hand motor into channel 3. Now I'm not sure because I haven't used these radio controls before which channels they are but if, it's, if we get it wrong it doesn't matter we can just swap it around. So we're going to switch it on, switch on the little robot in the switch, switch it on here and here we go. Let's see if this robot's actually going to work. There we go, we've got our working robot. Now at the moment, you can see that the left wheel is actually going the wrong way. So when I push up on the transmitter, the wheel's going backwards. That's not a problem because on our robot, on our transmitter, we can actually reverse the channels. Now again, not sure which one it is. Oh, that'll be the one then, okay. So let's just do that. So it ended up being throttle. So throttle on the left, that's better. So we've got forwards, backwards on our wheels, that's it and then we've got it right. So to control this robot, the left stick is doing the left wheel, the right stick is doing the right wheel, and if you want to go forwards, you push them both up, you want to go back and push them both down, and when you want to turn, you turn around. Now then, if you find that the wheels won't stop, you've also got these little trims here. And if so, for example, if the front wheel on the right wheel is going forwards, we need to slow it down and stop it, we'll turn it down until eventually it stops. There we go, we've got a working robot. So all we've got left to do now, we just need to build our bodywork over the top and then it's ready for battle. Let's do that. This robot's looking awesome. All I've done is put a little bit of sellotape and I've tidy up the wires slightly just to make it a little bit neater. All we've got to do now, piece of cardboard over the top, bit of decoration and the robot is ready for battle. So let's get going. And here it is, the finished version of our first ever cardboard servo powered robot. I've left the sides open so I can get my fingers on to switch it on and off. We're going to switch it on, let's clear the decks and let's see how it drives. Right, we have our arena. Roboteers, are we ready? Three, two, one, activate! Look at that, now that is a work of art. Looking a bit boring. Okay, we'll switch that back off for a second. Now then, this looks pretty cool, looks nice and sturdy, but it needs some decoration. Now I do projects all over the UK and I teach people how to build robots. And one of the rules I have is that these robots, they need to be decorated. I don't allow cardboard, boring colored robots into my competition. So we need some decoration. That's what I'm gonna do next. And there we have our finished robot. This is Mini Ripper. Now it wouldn't be part of the Ripper family unless it had our trademark yellow and green. So we've decorated it. Let's give it one more go. Amazing. So hopefully you've enjoyed our little video of how to build a simple robot. Get yourself to the website, romirobots.co.uk get some bits, get our, one of our kits, hot melt glue gun, some paper, some card. We've used a ruler, scissors, we've used one of our glue sticks, a pen, a roll of sellotape, and lots of getting the glue gun, and away we go. There's lots of fun to be had, lots of hours, and hopefully one day we'll see you in the arena. Thank you.